Hello, and welcome to another first impression video. I'm Drew Wilson from FreezeNet. Today we're going to be playing the 2011 Xbox 360 game Forza Motorsport 4. As the title suggests, it is basically the fourth installment to this franchise. So, I've got 10 minutes on the clock. Let's get an idea of how this game plays. So, I was able to play Forza Motorsport 3, and just like Forza Motorsport 2, had an absolute blast with it. So, this is definitely a game I've been looking forward to for a while now, and I'm glad to have actually been able to play this one. So, this is actually the um, intro race. So, you basically start off a game, off this game with this track, with this car, with this settings. This is every everything. This is about this is default. So, I'm gonna find out how well I do right off the bat. Yeah. Sometimes drones don't necessarily see you. Depends on the situation. And since I don't know the track that well, ah, oh, okay. Yep. And just like that, sometimes they slam the brakes in front of you, even though they don't necessarily have to brake that hard. Okay. Uh. And just to demonstrate the rewind, it goes in increments, as I found out. So, I could go one more here. I had a bad positioning in the turn. It's supposed to be on the outside, not still the inside. Hug the apex. There we go. A little better. So, yeah, that's a returning feature. Um, I wish I had more control over where you could uh, restart instead of just picking the spot that the game thinks that you want to reset on because half the time it's not very good and I just got squeezed there but we're gonna go ahead and continue anyway that cars fighting pretty hard all right yeah and there's different diff kind of camera angles too um, this is one of them for some reason they just chose this as the default so we're just gonna go for it for now with this um, as you can tell, there is a race line. Uh, so green means hit the accelerator. Uh, yellow means you kind of go the same speed. Um, and then of course red means slow down. And one thing that isn't as often cited is that when the line goes gray, then that means they're off course. So it's not that big of a deal. And we got our first achievement. Sweet. So, not the cleanest race, but this is a track I have never raced on, so I guess it's kind of expected, really. So, yeah, that was the uh, intro race to this game, and I'm kind of curious to see how many features transfer over. Holy macro. Um, <laughs> that's actually a very tough one. Hard drive. Yeah. So because I was playing the last Forza game, it's wanting me to import the last one. And I, I, I won't get necessarily get the uh, full. Will I get the full experience? By importing a profile, you'll receive cars and in game credits. I'm sure that you're kind of disposable for importing Forza 3. I've been having internet connectivity issues, to be honest, lately. I don't know why. But, um, oh, this is actually a tough qu decision. Start a new game. All right, Let's start from scratch. Begin your career by selecting your first car. Each car available has been optimized. I, I don't want to have 90% of everything right off the bat necessarily, so I get the full experience this way. But it's nice to know that that option is there. Um, just like the last game, you get a plethora of different like cars to start with. And uh, in the last game, um, this also 
actually has a pretty big impact on which which races which events you end up going on so like is it a north american type manufactured vehicle is it an asian type vehicle is it a european type vehicle i think that's european i could be wrong on that citrion probably and each vehicle has the same characteristics even has the same drivetrain from the looks of things um you know last time i think i started with ford so i'm gonna go with toyota this time around go a little bit different I mean, it's not going to really make that big of a difference, in all honesty. Very good graphics. Like, it's... <laughs> that's for, like, borderline photorealism right there. You can tell it's not because I'm switching between colors and the camera's continually moving, so it is definitely 3D rendered. That's impressive. Um... Alright, let's go for the stereotype. <laughs> let's go for red <laughs> sure you want this car sure you're going to be playing a whole bunch of different vehicles if the, if the game is anything like the last game you're going to be playing a whole pile of different vehicles to get right on the track. so go race to start your career select world tour World Tour sure. takes you on an expedition of the world's most elite racing circuits in some of the fastest cars available. Okay, I wonder if I can kind of go back here. You begin your career in the amateur division. Here you will yeah, that's very standard. Cars in a short five race season. So you can get the... Um, now we move to the Ladera test track. A facility dedicated to the testing of cutting-edge automotive technology. Hmm. So we start off the test track. Circuit, you can choose from several events. Displayed events are suitable for either your current car or cars in your garage. Cool. Should we go through cylinder? Hmm. But if I can go back and look at the event list. Usually these games have a ton, and this is no exception. This is actually very similar to the last game. So you'll have a whole pile of different uh, events. So when you go into the world, like I, when you went to the to the season play in the last game, you could, like, the game was basically selecting events based off of, do you have this car in this garage? Do you have the car right now? Could you upgrade it? That sort of thing. Or vehicles or tracks that you haven't tested before so yeah there's it was just basically picking and choosing so you never really miss a, an event if you don't choose one that's what i was kind of worried about previously but that's not the case this time around and there is a metric ton of races so i think green means that your vehicle that vehicle is in the garage you could upgrade it to whatever uh gray means uh or no, it's the, it's the vehicle that is that you have now that you're driving. And last time, blue meant it was in your garage, but since I have no vehicles in my garage, there's no blue. Gray means uh, it's not there yet. I don't have any vehicles that qualifies yet. And, of course, lock means I have to keep building up my experience points, which I'm assuming is going to be part of this game this time around. So let's go back to World Tour. And... Driver level bonus. I don't know anything about that. From here you can manage your settings prior to racing or simply select start race to get right on the track. So difficulty. This is a re returning feature. You can turn on and uh, things on and off um, as you see fit. Um, yeah, I apparently get bonus points, f bonus just by being in the world tour mode. That's interesting. That's new. So you could go medium or hard and medium hard advanced um and as you can tell um you'll get a bonus along the bottom of how many credits and that also goes towards actual um yeah once there changes yeah i know i was just looking so I don't have much time wow okay oh well so 
gonna go into this one, pay out 3,000 credits, so 25%. You'll get more than that. You'll also get experience points, if I'm not mistaken, and it goes, cars tend to have like a max, a cap of five levels, so that's why you go through different cars. Uh, you'll get bonuses as you level up, but once you hit level five, you get no more bonuses for that, so that's why you go into continually change out cars when you max out your drive your vehicle reputation then you get that um and of course your driver experience point you get experience points for your driver as well last time it was a cap of 50 i'll find out what it's like this time around and wow just like that we are out of time but hopefully you got an idea of how the game plays um yeah so that is it. Um, very interesting. Um, very, plays looks like it plays very similarly to the previous game, um, which is good because the previous game was actually pretty darn good. So we'll find out how well this one plays as well. So yeah, I wanted to hear from you. What did you think of this game? Um, was it a really good game? Did you have a lot of fun with it, with this one, like I did, or? Was it like a little too much? Like, because th th there's a lot of content in this game, so maybe you got tired of it real quickly and it found it kind of repetitive after a while. Yeah, let us know in the comments below. Um, if you haven't played this game but have played other games in the franchise, does this look like an interesting game for you? You think you want to try this one, or do you have like, do you think you have preferences for other games that maybe it doesn't quite play exactly like you wanted it, or maybe it, maybe it does? I don't know. Yeah, let us know in the comments below, and if you have not played any of the Forza games and you're looking at this for the first time, uh, does this look like an interesting game to you? Does it have some interesting features and how well it play, like how it plays, or maybe this is just another dime a dozen um, simulation racing games for you? Yeah, let us let us know in the comments below what you thought of that. Um, maybe maybe you have a motivation to play this. Who knows? Uh, so if you want to support this channel, there are plenty of ways you can do that. You can drop us a like and let us know, hey, you're doing a great job. Keep it the good work. And uh, another way you can support the channel is to subscribe. So if you turn on notifications, you can get real-time updates on what videos we've posted. It's the fastest way to find out when we've uploaded something new on here. So definitely a cool feature to utilize. But, you know, if you don't want to turn on notifications, that's cool too. A subscription does help out this channel a lot as well. So... Anything that helps us out, hey, why not? <laughs> and uh, there's also another way you can support the channel is check out our uh, website, freesnet.ca. And through that, you can get all the latest in music reviews, video game reviews. We have all latest in news in general about the world of technology. We even have a full-fledged wiki, so you can actually explore music on your own without my opinion at all. So, yeah, lots of cool features on the website, and it helps us out too just by browsing around. It's all free. And another way you can support us, if you want to do the more direct approach, you can actually support us via Patreon at patreon.com slash freezenet. And through that you can get cool insider information. Like patrons knew that we were going to be playing Forza Motorsport 4 as well. So another, another cool perk for that. And uh, you can get advanced copies of our podcast and other insider information. And if Patreon isn't your thing, you don't want to do the subscription, you can do our kind of glorified tip jar, which is our coffee page, coffee.com slash freezenet. All the links, of course, will be in the description below. Um, so, yeah, one-time donation, you want, don't want the commitment, but you want to help us out anyway. Um, yeah, that, that's another way you can do that to support our channel. And we'll make sure every dollar does count, goes towards the website, goes towards this YouTube channel, and it goes towards our podcast. So yeah, lots of ways you can support us and we'll make sure every dollar does count. So I guess that is all for now and until next time, keep it cool.